It's a video. <laughs> Greetings, fellow humans, and welcome to another uh, video game review. I did one a while back for Zelda, and someone apparently uh, found it helpful, uh, so I wanted to review the other games I have for the Nintendo Switch. In case you're wondering, I only have the Nintendo Switch and the classic NES here in Atlanta. Uh, my other consoles are back in Puerto Rico, but if I would get another one, it would probably be PlayStation. I've never had an Xbox uh, console uh, as a matter of principle because they were okay with pretty much half their uh, their units being being botchy and glitchy and, and the ring of fire and all that stuff. Uh, and I wasn't cool with that. So I stuck with the big N and with the big, the big S. <laughs> But for the new consoles, I've only bought the Nintendo Switch. Uh, bought is is too generous. Uh, my my lovely wife actually bought that for me. Uh, thank you, Captain uh, Nani, Mamita. So, Super Mario Odyssey. Um, the other game I reviewed is The Legend of Zelda: uh, Breath of the Wild, and th this is the other marquee game uh, so far that I can say uh, call marquee. Why do I call it marquee? This is video game brilliance. If you like platforming games, um, it's Super Mario and everything else is playing, is batting for second. And that's that's an opinion, but I think it's pretty substantiated. Uh, Mario Odyssey just it, it blew me away once again. Um, uh, I think uh, the, the title... Super Mario Wii U World, or whatever the title was, it, it was a good, uh, it was a good effort, but it, it came a bit short, and it it hadn't been since I think Mario Galaxy Two that I actually played a Mario game that I I fell in love with, and this game is just bonkers. It, it, I still haven't finished the entire game. I still haven't gotten all the moons because pretty much your basic gamer can pass the game. Getting all the moons <laughs> uh, takes commitment, dedication, and a lot of patience, and great timing, and skill. Um, if you want all those moons, you got, you're going to have to earn it. Uh, replay value is through the roof, um, and I really think they did an exceptional you know, job. And, and Mario Odyssey, as well as Zelda, are two of the best games Nintendo has ever made, which is saying something. Um, when you have a legacy like theirs, you, know, you, you don't want to tarnish it, but it's it's kind of scary to think what they'll do next. Um, because there's so many intricate details to this game. Uh, gameplay mechanics are really familiar, but at the same time, there's a couple of new things that make it fresh. I think that is the excellence of, of, of The Legend of Zelda and Mario. The Legend of Zelda, if you played that game, it's very different from your typical Zelda game. Uh, Mario is like, you know, getting on, getting on a new bike that you've never ridden before, but it's even better than your favorite bike. Um, it's just familiar in the ways that it, it has to be, and it's new in the ways that are fun. Uh, with Mario, uh, I think since Super Mario Brothers 3, it's always about, oh, what new suits can he use and what new powers can he have? And new powers, I'm not gonna spoil any of them, but they're a lot of fun. Um, he uses different caps um, to have different outfits, but that doesn't necessarily affect the gameplay. Um, stages are super creative. Graphics are crisp. Audio is stellar. Soundtrack is awesome. Uh, I think New Donk City, when you get there, there's there's a, a particular moon that you have to get. That that one is is by far the best. And the uh, and the dinosaur, the dinosaur world. Um, you'll also guess what it is. The music there is just. I would listen to that right now. It's that good. Uh, as per usual, there's always a couple of things that are annoying. Uh, there's a jump rope game. <coughs> That is just ridiculous. And if you think that one's bad, wait till you play the volleyball game. They're both awful. Um, because they are, they're NES game awful, difficult. 
uh, the, NES, the, the the original Nintendo system had a couple of games that were really hard and really sucked. <laughs> uh, come to mind, I would say Predator, I would say Back to the Future, which are awful games. The, the original Wolverine video game was also bad, but also super hard. These are even dumbed down. It's like, try to imagine Burger Time, but without the fun. Um, I don't know. It's just, I think they did it just to, to bust our balls as gamers. Still, uh, if you're going to buy a Nintendo Switch, you need Zelda um, for a bit older crowd. But for kids, you know, introducing them to the world of Mario with this game, um, it'll, it, I don't know why kids insist on playing Fortnite when they can play something that cool. <laughs> but that's just me. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions on the game, I don't want to get too in-depth. I don't want to do any spoilers, but the story of War of Super Mario is never... <laughs> Bowser kidnapped Zelda. Ah, uh, you thought it was Zelda. No, uh, he, he kidnaps Princess Peach again. They, uh, the, the Mushroom Kingdom is in danger again. And he has to fight different minions and Bowser. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> of particular note, it's just that, that that the different worlds are are so fun and they were so creative. I think my only complaint, there's one stage that was super under underdeveloped. There's only like one kind of so-so boss fight uh, with a dragon. The dragon looks spectacular. Uh, spectacular. The stage looks spectacular, and there's like five moons eight moons and the boss fight is really not that amazing uh it's very underwhelming and with the high level that the rest of the game is i'm talking like all-time nintendo best to have that stage it's it's it was kind of like um a misstep even which is really rare for a nintendo game from one of their marquee franchises but still uh Beyond those little faults, it is an amazing game. It's an amazingly fun game. All around, graphics, control, music, uh, sound effects, uh, quirky little details. Uh, Mario games tend to do that, and this was no exception. So by all means, pick it up, get it for someone you love. Until next time, peace, love, and Mikey Rolls.